Hey, what's going on, cats and kittens? It's Gavin the Grease here. And today I'm gonna show you guys out there how to dress like a greaser the proper way. So, here's what's kind of doing, here's what's kind of going for today. So, you know, people online will be like, oh, I'm gonna show you how to dress like a greaser. Oh. You know, you gotta, you gotta get, you know, the hair grease. You gotta, you, you gotta do this. You gotta, you know, you gotta wear the leather jacket. You know, you gotta wear the white t-shirt. You gotta tuck in your t-shirt. You gotta, you know, wear jeans. You gotta put the boots on. Bullshit. I'm gonna tell you why. Alright? See, those type of videos, those type of people don't know what they're talking about. Alright, because for one, to be a greaser, one of the main things you have to do, guys, is you have to have pretty much love and respect for the subculture, meaning music, you know, the style, where it originated, the history. You got to have love and respect for those things. That's one of the main things that us greasers in the subculture have respect for are those main things. All right. Not that hard. All you gotta have love and respect for. You know, the music and whatnot. But, don't pay attention to those videos. Those videos, they don't, those people don't know what the fuck they're talking about. I do. Because, well, I've been doing this for like three years now. Go figure. So, I'm not gonna get into every fucking, you know, you know, little thing on how to dress like a proper greaser. Because there's a lot of things you could do. There's a lot of... By things, I mean there's a lot of clothing options, there's a lot of jackets, a lot of different shirts you can wear, you know, a lot of different pants, shoes, and everything. There's a lot of different things you can wear for the style itself. But I'm only going to get into, you know, like a few things. I'm not going to get into the whole, you know, things of how to dress like a greaser. You dig? So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, I'm going to start here. You know... Your hair, you know. When you look up, you know, you know, greaser hairstyles or, you know, old school 1950s hairstyles or anything along those lines. Some of the main hairstyles you're gonna, you guys are going to find out there, if you search it up by hand, you know, on Google or whatever, is probably slicked back hair like mine. I, I'm currently using the slick back hair because for one it's an easy hairstyle to do and for two I think it looks good and I like, and I, and I like it and I've been doing so I've been slicking my hair back for like three years now so yeah so you're probably gonna find that you're probably gonna find you know pompadours you know elephant trunks you know um you know that's kind of like the main things you're gonna find on there you know at least when it comes to the hair all right, so yeah, you got you can you know have the big sideburns like I'm currently trying to get I'm trying to get my sideburns from here all the way down to here like mutton chop style so letting it grow out letting it kind of get there but yeah that's for the hair that's kind of where what you're gonna find on the internet for the most part. All right, when it comes to you know shirts you know shirts all right. When it comes to shirts, you know, some of the main ones, all right, you can wear, you know, just a basic blue, black, white, green t-shirt and a basic color. Or you can wear, you know, like a band shirt or, you know, pretty much, yeah, just pretty much wear, you know, basic color t-shirt like mine. You wear tank tops if it's summertime out, you know, short sleeve t-shirts if it's summer or spring out. Where I live at, it's not any of those. It's cold, so... I don't really, you know, why, why, why would I wear short sleeves in winter? I don't know. It's, I don't. But, you know, yeah. Yeah. Just, you know, those band shirts, you know. Yeah. All right. As far as jackets go, all right, as far as jackets go, you know, obviously, you know, you know, you have your biker jacket. Which is, you know, your leather jacket, your typical classical jacket that, you know, you see most greasers wear. Alright. 
And yes, greasers do wear denim jackets. It was a thing. It was a thing in the 50s, and it's a thing now. They still do, greasers nowadays still do wear glasses. Or, not glasses. Uh, denim jackets. I don't know why I fucking said glasses for me. Yeah, greasers do wear denim jackets. It was a thing. It always will be a thing. And it still is a thing in the modern day era. Alright? Now, as far as denim jacket colors go, you can, you know, stick with the, you know, medium, medium shade blue... You know, light blue. This is the light blue. It's not completely light blue, but, you know, it's light blue. You know, it's as far as I'm going to go for light colors. And, you know, you got your dark blues. You know, you you know, you know, got a whole ton of shades of colors. But for, for me, what I would specifically pick, if I were you, would be the light blue, dark blue, or the medium shade blue. That's what I would stick with mainly. You dig? All right. Other jackets, you know, you got your World War II bomber jackets, you know, you got, um, you know, you can wear some flannels if you want, you know, Greasers did wear flannels, it was definitely an option and a thing back then, and I currently do wear flannels in winter because, you know, it helps me stay warm, so, you know, I do wear flannels, you know, when I go outside, I throw a flannel, I throw a coat over it, I'm good to go. Alright, as far as the pants go... All right, so yeah, greasers do wear jeans, but for jeans, you know, it's, yeah, you have to get jeans, yeah, jeans are a part of it, but for jeans, at least what I go with is I go with the slim straight. Why you ask me all? Because the slim straight, when I cuff my jeans at the bottom, the cuff actually stays in place. It doesn't fucking, you know, fall apart if I'm walking, which is why I like slim straight. You know, I don't go for the too tight, like the skinny jeans. I don't go for that stuff. I go for these slim straight jeans because, well, you know, it's retro. It's old school. It's part of the style, you know. So, yeah. All right. Alternatives. So, if you're not going to wear jeans, what I would suggest wearing is, you know, maybe khakis. You know, dicky work pants are also very, very common in the 50s. Cats back in the day were wearing them. Cats are wearing them now. Definitely a thing. Um, you know. Uh, yeah, pretty much, yeah. So I'm going to call it for pants. Alright, as far as shoes go. One of the number one most common greaser shoes of all time is the engineer boot. No questions asked. In case you guys don't know what an engineer boot is or don't know what they look like, well, let's say you know what it is and you don't know what it looks like. Well, I have a pair of engineer boots. I'll be right back. Boom. These are engineer boots. All right. So for those of you who have ever seen Marlon Brando's movie, The Wild One, he was wearing engineer boots in that movie. All right. So yeah, these are what engineer boots look like. You know, buckle boots, engineer boots, whatever you call them. These are what they look like. And the company mine is, is a company called Dingo. They're a very old school company. And they're my first pair of engineer boots. So far, I like them. They actually, they work pretty well for me. Especially in winter times, because it's cold out. Alright, other shoes, you know, you got your Chuck Converse, you know. You got your, you know, working dress shoes, you know, they're the type of shoes that, you know, they're not too dressy, but, you know, they're mainly work related, you know, see people in shop wearing them, you know, that type of stuff is very, very common and classical in the 50s. Um, you know, harvesting boots, you know, those are very classical as well. You know, com combat boots weren't really, you know that common in the 50s but you know some people were wearing them some weren't you know but i started off with combat boots you know because that's all i could afford and that's all i really had when i started off doing this stuff guys i didn't have obviously money on me and i was trying to find stuff to look just like this stuff just like the subculture and the style i was trying to find stuff to look like it and i knew people wore like motorcycle boots. I called them motorcycle boots back then. So they were motorcycle boots. I couldn't afford those. I didn't have, you know, $100 on me to be spending on those, on that type of stuff. 
So, I didn't do that because I didn't have money to do that. But yeah, I started off with combat boots, but I obviously upgraded to engineer boots and I don't really wear combat boots anymore. Maybe I'll get a, another pair of combat boots, but just maybe like a different style because the ones I have, you know, they weren't like the ones I wanted to get. You dig? Alright, so, as far as accessories go, you know, accessories, you can have them or you don't have to have them. It's not really like a must-have thing, but, you know, as far as my accessories go, I'm not going to get too much into it. I'll probably make a separate video on my accessories, but I'll tell you some of the things I do carry, and I'll save the rest, you know, for another video. Alright? So, you know, obviously, you know, you got every comb, you know, um, my hair is wavy, and... Wavy hair doesn't really stay down, at least with this side of the comb. So I use the, uh, you know, thin, you know, slimmer bristled comb. And it works for my hair just fine. So, you know, I keep it, I always keep a comb with me. Um, I always, you know, try to bring my brush, you know, because the brush does work good for my hair, considering it's shorter right now. So it does work for that as well. Um, I always like to keep a can of grease with me, you know. Murray's is what I'm currently using. So I like to keep, keep a can of Murray's with me. As far as hairspray goes, I don't really use that. I will use hairspray from time to time for the back of my hair if it decides to stick up and not want to listen to where I put it. But other than that, I really don't use hairspray that much. It's just not my thing. Not only that, but my hair seems to stay fine the way it is with pomade. But if I need to use hairspray, I do have some where I live, so yeah. You know, you can carry, you know, wallets. As far as wallets go, I do have a uh, chain wallet, you know, I like chain wallets, you can carry, you know, wa normal wallets, you know, your square wallets, create chain wallets, yeah, so you can pretty much just carry, yeah, those, um, yeah, that's, I think that's pretty much gonna cover it, guys, um, on, you know, the whole greaser style, and, you know, the whole, the whole thing, you know, um, hope you guys learned something from here. Because that's what the channel is all about, is letting people who are interested or wanting to become a greaser get into the subculture more and, you know, learn a little bit more about it. So, I hope whoever, you know, watches this learns something and hopefully it gives them an idea of the style and what people were rocking back in the 50s. And, yeah. Oh, yeah. A few more things, guys, before I end this video here. As far as the clothing stuff goes... Keep it very, very basic. Don't, you know, don't go all out overboard, spending all this money, you know, doing this stuff because, believe it or not, roosters were, you know, poor working class men. They weren't, you know, these rich people that just got to spend money 24 seven. They were pretty much low class working men, you know, mechanics, some were working mechanics, some were working, you know, pretty much wherever they could to get money because they were, you know, they didn't have much money on them. Um, yeah, look out for the deals on clothes, you know, you see any deals on clothes, that's, you know, obviously a good thing to look for, and, yeah, so, yeah, like I said before, I hope you all learned something from this, of uh, the style, and, yeah, keep rocking, cats.